I entered the abandoned factory. It was dark. I could not see anything. My eyes hadn't adjusted yet. Although I could smell toxic, po toxic poison that, sa that smelt like a dead skunk. It was c obvious that somebody had been here over the last few hours. They had carried on far from my journey. There was a desk in the middle of a room with a candle lit on it. There was workbenches around the outskirts of the room with test tubes with things that looked like fruit smoothies in it. I heard some bats screeching. Squawk, squawk, squawk! I carried on further. I found a latch in the, in the wall. I peered inside and I saw loads of shelves. I squished and squashed through the latch to find myself in a massive library. Or was it a library? It could have been anything. It could be a bank vault. It could have gold in it. I carried on further. I leant le on one of the books. A door opened in the wall. I crept inside to find nothing. I carried on further, but that didn't help. I waited there for hours and hours and hours, but nobody came, especially not my master, just bats. I turned around. Shrepper the snoozy was there. I was terrified. What are you doing, boy? Get out of my hideout! You'll be gone! Your friends and brothers and sisters will be executed by tonight. You will have to raid the Bank of England to get this back. Come to me, little boy. Come to the Tower of London. You will see your friends suffering madness. But, but, I don't want to see my friends in madness. Anyway, boy, you're coming with me to the Tower of London. By the end of the day, by midnight, you will have stolen the crown jewels and pretty much every bit of money in the Bank of England. You will not escape me, you are my slave, and nothing will change. At the, at the Tower of London, Lewis stared in horror at his friends who were chained to the walls by their necks and their hands. Lewis, help us, please! Ha 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 ha! I'm evil! I will definitely win this evil prize! I will be... The evilest scientist of the year! Although I was terrified, Shrepper knew I was cleverer than him. He knew that I invented a time watch. I got into bed that night. I put on my pyjamas. I pulled back my blanket, got inside, went to sleep. Somehow it took me ages. I knew Shrepper had come to my house. He had my address. Or he could just use his mind to think of a key that would go through the door. He had that power. Anything he thought would happen. So, so he could have put the key through the door and stole the time watch. 
but luckily I had solved that. I put it in my cupboard with all my toys. He's not going to know that it's in my toy cupboard. He can't tell the time watch from a blooming rat. I've got to sleep. I reassured myself that he wouldn't come in. I woke up as a dark figure standing in my doorway. Was it Shrepper? Don't be afraid. I peered over the blanket. The man in his thirty stood there. He wore a beige waistcoat and a sparkly red bow tie. His hair was long and blonde, with a lock going down over his eye. He looked like a girl. Who are you? I said, hoping it wasn't Shrepper in disguise. Don't be afraid, he said again, in his Irish accent. It was getting on my nerves. I'm Fred. M.I.S. has gave me this invention to give to you. They understand that Shrepper is on your ass. He's a criminal bitch. He, sh he got out a pen-like device and put it in my hand. To be continued. Next time, the pen is revealed. A great robbery at the bank. Off with the head at the Tower of London. And much more. See you next week's episode to find out what happens. Hey.